Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're going to be dealing with our, our iron problem in our water. So we're going to deal with water softening and mineral removal. What we have here that we have been using for years uh, at this house as well as our older houses is just a regular uh, water softener. This is a standard water softener for many of you on a well. Uh, you're familiar with this. This works uh, moderately well, but because we've had so much sediment over the years, because we didn't have a sediment filter in here, which I recently installed, uh, we this thing is just barely working anymore and not only that but a water softener isn't really meant to be an iron remover it will do the job a little bit but uh, over time it does wreck things the goal is to get all of this completely redone cleaned out and we're gonna get a new filtration system to finally get rid of the iron problems in this house All right, well, we got all the, the old uh, stuff out of the way, and uh, Anthony from CGC Water uh, Treatment and Plumbing just left. Uh, he got everything done in a really good time. And the cool thing about CGC, if you're interested in uh, any kind of water treatment, uh, I will look, put a link in the description to all of their information. They're a local company here. They're an amazing uh, company. They sent a guy out, especially for me, uh, that knew how to solder, uh, solder copper. And so he installed everything uh, real nice, uh, it, you know, no PEX, no, no uh, CPVC or anything like that. It's all done in copper. Let me show you what we have uh, set up here and how this is gonna make our water uh, just perfectly clean and clear and especially help all of the, the blonde girls that live in this house with me. All right, let's see what we, what we have. We've got a lot of things cleaned up and moved the water heater over to here and uh, installed our, our plate heat exchanger and all that other stuff. The new system is all installed. So let's walk through and show you exactly what we have here and how it all works. So the first thing that we have in line here, I did a separate video on this, is we have our well, uh, well line coming in here. This is the expansion tank. Uh, and then right here we have a, a sediment filter. So this is just taking out large particles, but look at all the, all the, the rust it's already collected. Uh, this does not reduce the water flow at all. We still have great water pressure. Um, and this just has a, a little valve and a tube here that uh, I keep a bucket down here. And every once in a while I can come down here and just uh, you know, blow out the bottom of this that it collects the sediment that uh, can't pass through the screen in here and it collects on the bottom. And this also has shutoffs on each side so I can shut this off. I can replace this filter if I need to. But these, this is just a screen mesh. So this is just picking up real large stuff. The plumbing heads right from that sediment filter up. There is a T. This is a uh, hard water that goes out to our hoses and stuff. We don't want to put our you know nice filtered water out there. And then the, the rest of the water heads up and heads into this. This is an iron filter. Its only job is to filter out the iron that we have in the water. We have tons of iron in this area. And this is a clear water systems uh, iron filter. And basically what this is, it's very similar to, to a water softener uh, in design. It has a head here, it has a, uh, a little mechanical uh, valve that, uh, that operates and it's on a, a timer. Uh, and all the water basically gets uh, oxidized. The, the rust will oxidize in here. And so there's a media in there. And uh, as the water passes through, the iron in there will oxidize, it will clump together, and it becomes very easy to filter out and remove at that point. It, so it binds it all kind of together in there. And then this every night or every two nights, it, it flushes this tank out. So it just flushes all this out and it gets uh, dumped in one of our little drains here. Between the sediment filter and this iron filter, 
this is going to make everything else down the line last uh, a lot longer. All of our appliances, dishwashers, washing machines, shower heads, fixtures, faucets, all that stuff. You don't need to replace anything in this. This is, There's no salt or anything like that. It just does that on its own uh, uh, and, it, and it flushes itself and, and that's kind of pretty self-contained unit. So once the iron is removed, the water comes over here and then heads into this new Kinetico water softener. Uh, this also has a pre-filter so any uh, of the oxidized iron that may still be floating around in the water there uh, that can get kind of filtered out. This is like a pre-filter. It's a it's a cloth mesh filter. This is actually a replacement for right here and I think the, he said uh, I think he said six months or so these should be either cleaned up or replaced and there it's a cheap kind of just little pre-filter so so this is a Kinetico water softener unit. This has two tanks. They're smaller and you'll notice there's no power to this, there's no electricity to this, there is nothing plugged in. This is all driven by the power of just the water flow, the water pressure through here. And so this cycles automatically. Uh, this is a water softener. This is mainly to remove uh, minerals, calcium, and other things. We have a lot of limestone in the in the in the area here in the ground, and you get calcium and, and uh, other minerals that get in the water and they cause staining and that's where you get the hard hardness of the water. This also has a media in it that uh, collects and binds those minerals up and then the brine uh, washes that media off and, and allows it to continue to, to collect the, the minerals. This unit is a continuous run. So our old water softener uh, in the middle of the night, it would take a couple hours and it would replenish. Now if anything was running during the time that it was re replenishing, uh, that then it was getting hard water because a bypass valve would turn on and it would just bypass hard water to the house while it was regenerating. And this works with two tanks. So when one needs to regenerate, it flips over and uses the other one. And then when this one's regenerating, it flips over and uses this one. So you always have filtered, clean, softened, iron-free water going to the house in all your fixtures. So there's never a time when any of that uh, mineral-filled water or, or, uh, or anything like that is going to get into your hot water tank. It's going to get into any of the other appliances in your home. So always clean, always filtered, uh, always softened water. And then just as a side note, uh, we have in our water heaters here a powered anode rod. So this was a new water heater, but I immediately replaced the, the anode rod in it. And so this is a powered anode rod, a titanium stick that uh, will get rid of the sulfur, the rotten egg smell in hot water that can happen uh, with bacteria and other things. Special thanks to CGC Water Treatment and Plumbing. If you're within their area, I would definitely recommend giving them a call. They do an excellent, uh, an excellent job and they, they have the best equipment. So we have clean water. The, the stains in our sinks and our toilets, we've cleaned that stuff up and it has not come back. We've been running the system now for a couple weeks and it, uh, it has been working flawlessly. So let me know what you guys think. If you've been struggling with this issue, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys uh, or if you have other things to add that might, uh, might help other people out there, we'd love to hear from you as well. Throw those things in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video today. Share it with friends and family. If you know people who are struggling with rust in their well water, this is truly the way to finally be rid of it for good. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.